Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Min. We're back with another statue unboxing and review. This time, we have the Legacy Replica Quarter Scale Punisher by Iron Studios. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so not too big of a box here. I am a little nervous to open this up because there have been a couple of pieces that came out that had issues, uh, leaning issues, hands not fitting uh, flush into the keyholes. So let's hope for the best and unbox this Punisher. All right, very cool box art here, man. You got the Punisher logo on the wide side here. And you got the statue on the sides and on the back with the different portraits and everything. Looking good. All right, so here's a bird's eye view of what's inside the box. Let's go ahead and take out the base first. Not too shabby. Is mine broken? Yep, look at this, broken piece. That's a shame. This also seems to have broken off as well. So it's like the silencer. the head sculpts he looks like he has an X right there in his head here's the other head sculpt They look all right. Here is one of the switch out hands holding a duffel bag full of guns. I like this a lot. Here we have his bandana and little little pack of bullets. Left hand with a Uzi. This 
another switch out Uzi. And you got your big boy rifle. All right, so let's try to see if we can assemble this guy. He's got a couple of brakes. Um, but that leg, I mean, I don't know. It looks like a really clean brake. It almost looks like is if the factory uh, originally had it separated there anyway. It's got some weird oil all up on it, too. See if I can glue it. I don't know what all that greasy stuff is. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what that other piece broke off of. Oh, okay. It looks like it's one of these pouches. Well, the funny part is he doesn't look like he's leaning. <laughs> All right, so we got a broken piece right here. I used to get pissed when these things would be broken, right? <laughs> Can't really get this one to stay in. I, it's hard to tell how the position is supposed to be. Don't want to stick. All right, anyway. Let's get this thing put together. Got that head there. Got that hand. All right. It's actually a pretty cool statue. I mean, the only problem is I think this thing was like 700 bucks, man. And to get it arrived broken like that, it's a little upsetting, you know? So he's got a silencer. I think this can just fit on any of these guns. Let's put his knife on his leg. All right, so this is one way you could pose him. You could put two guns in his hands. Which is pretty cool. But then you have the way that I intend to pose. I mean, if I get a replacement or something. If I end up keeping this. Duffel bag. And 
your big boy rifle. It is a cool piece, though, man. Very, very large. Punisher's got a big body to him. I like the different options on the switch outs. Let's uh, try that last switch out head. I actually like this switch out a lot better than I thought I would by looking at pictures. I guess this is like his late 80s, early 90s type of look. Alright, before we get into the review, let's do a little uh, backstory on Punisher. Uh, usually during this part I like to put up a little picture of the cover of the first appearance, but I thought I'd be petty today because we got two uh, amazing Spider-Man 129s in the Gempire. Uh, this is the first appearance of Punisher. He debuted in February of 1974. We have a uh, mid to higher grade copy, 8.5 and a 9.4. Punisher was a guy chilling at the park with his family. His wife and kids got in the crossfire of a gang war and his family got killed. So then he became a vigilante, swearing to hunt down and punish all of these criminals, mafia guys, gang guys, and he became a fan favorite anti-hero. Man, he must be one of the first anti-heroes because you got like your Punishers, your Ghost Riders, your Venoms, your Deadpools, but um, he might be like the first one. There's a lot of hardcore Punisher fans out there and uh, he's definitely a cool character. He's an anti-hero in the sense that he kills bad guys. So he doesn't have that hang up like a lot of heroes do. Uh, he was a Spider-Man uh, antagonist. But then he became more of a daredevil antagonist, similar to Kingpin. He had a lot of uh, a lot of different movies, man. He had the Dolph Lundgren movies back in the day. He had Punisher and then Punisher Warzone. Uh, then, of course, he debuted in the Daredevil uh, Season 2 Netflix series and then had his own Netflix series. And I think he was portrayed really well in Netflix. The movies I was not really a fan of, although a lot of uh, there's a lot, big following for that Warzone movie, which I believe was under the Marvel Knights movie imprint. It was a little bit more violent. All right, that's enough about Punisher. Let's uh, go ahead and review the actual statue itself. All right, so trying to overlook the fact that it came in broken. Uh, I really do like this piece. I like how it looks. Starting with the base, you get this corner chunk of building, and it has a nice mix of concrete and brick. I think it's painted well. It doesn't look flat. There's a lot of different shading in each brick, and on the concrete, it's not just one solid color. Um, so, yeah, I definitely like the base. Punisher's costume. So looking at his boots, they went into... Um, some good detail there with stitching and belt buckles. On the inside of his foot, he's got some other type of uh, buckle thing going on. And I remember with uh, pictures of this, everybody was like, what is he wearing, leather pants? It doesn't really look like leather. It looks like, um, I don't know, looks like it could be denim. Maybe it is leather. Leather would be kind of weird. But again, you have some good stitching. He's got his pockets, stitching down the hem. It even looks like it's a little bit um, dirty on the, on the cuffs. Then you have these guns and knives um, clipped around his legs that look really good. He's got a gun on each uh, thigh and a, a knife on his left calf. So there has been some talk about rubber hands. Yeah, I think a couple of these switch out hands are rubber. 
uh, specifically that um, one holding the big rifle. That doesn't really bother me. I mean, to me, it's like, obviously it was done that way for a reason, right? Uh, I really like the bag that holds the guns. I think that's really cool. The belt with the pouches looks cool. It's a shame that mine uh, has a, a pouch that's broken off, and I can't get it to stick back on for the life of me. I really like the white pouches that kind of uh, accentuate the uh, skull logo on his chest, which the skull logo logo looks awesome. He's got these shotgun shells attached to um, this harness that, that he has on his chest as well. And then you have uh, a nice little um, textured design on the shirt. You know, it's funny. I, I didn't notice until someone mentioned it on, the, on uh, I think, the forums that he's black from neck down, like his long sleeves, long pants, black gloves. I don't mind the uh, guns and such being um, made of a different material. I'm like, again, had to be that way for a reason, maybe for weight. But, um... Yeah, I like. I think the portraits look good. I mean, I saw some complaints about them. But I think the eyes are good. They almost look like stickers. I, I don't know if they're painted or not. I prefer the more modern head. I Again, I don't know if, if there's an X on mine on his temple or if that's supposed to be his veins or something. I'm not really a huge fan of that. But otherwise, I mean, I think the skin texture looks fine. The hair looks good. The 5 o'clock shadow, I've heard other people mention that, and I think it looks fine. The other guns, uh, switch outs, are a nice touch because he's very tall when he has um, the rifle. With the rifle, he stands... Just shy of 28 inches. But if you take the rifle off, give him an Uzi, now his head is the tallest point. And he's just uh, shy of 23 inches, so five inches. You know, that's a uh, make or break fitting in a, a Besta or whatever type of shelving you guys have. So yeah, um, sucks about the breakage. You know, the thing is, I really wouldn't mind it, but it's kind of like, like I said, a very expensive piece. If I ever had to sell this for whatever reason, plus I can't really get this on. So um, I'll reach out to Sideshow and see what they want to do. I don't think I would take um, a partial refund, you know, and I don't think they would send an, an entire replacement body. So I might have to just send it back for a refund or I don't know we'll see how that works anyway besides the breakage what do you guys think about the quarter scale or legendary scale Punisher by Iron Studios uh, distributed through Sideshow drop me a like on the way out for my pain and suffering drop me a comment like I mentioned below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content we don't do statues every day but we do them as often as we can and we always have something going on CGC spotlights story reviews collected edition hauls uh so yeah man make sure to check us out and hit the bell so you're notified every time a video comes out stay minty y'all peace